Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for uh, March 29th to April 4th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkersin.com, or check out the description box below. Okay, so a couple cards wanted to come out, so let's see what those are about here. Okay, so it looks like uh, somebody wants to take a risk on you or a leap of faith here with the full card energy. This could be someone new. You may have left them out in the cold here with the Five of Pentacles energy. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Aries, or someone who's been trying to do and say all the right things. Okay, let's see how this is going to play out in your reading. Okay, so let's switch up camera views here. So my darlings... First, we're going to talk about the day-to-day, -day, your love interest feelings, the Black Asian challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so that's going to have my Aries Romantic Love Life from March 29th to April 4th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's card deck one. What's going to happen my Aries Romantic Love Life from March 29th to April 4th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. That's card deck two. What's going to happen my Aries Romantic Love Life from March 29th to April 4th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. That's card deck three. All right, my darlings, let's lay this, these cards deck aside over here, and let's lay down your deck here. Okay, so we got the Lover's card energy, we have the Moon, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot. Let me just move this over here. The Six of Pentacles, oh wow, the Five of Cups, and the Six of Cups. So. Remember, Aries, this is going to be March 29th, March 30th, 31st, the 1st, the 2nd, the 3rd, and the 4th of April. And then this is going to be for your love interest feelings. <clears throat> and this is the blockage and then the overall outcome. And also, Aries, you can feel free to check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Let's see what the overall deck is saying here and again there is that full card coming out so there is somebody who is trying to take a risk here wants to take a leap of faith they're about to go for it here um, their concerns about some kind of arguments or fights here with the five of wands energy it looks to me like they really do want you with the nine of cups energy but there is this defensive energy like they got their wall up here or you got their concern that you may have your wall up here because you've been through it and there's a lot of stress, anxiety, and worry here with the Nine of Swords energy. But it does look like there's somebody who really does want to take a power move. Or for some of you, there's concerns about a father involved with the situation or uh, some sense of order, structure, or work here. Okay, so, so we can see that someone is hesitant to take a risk. So let's just put our cards aside there. Actually, let's put it over here. All right, so let's take a look here. So it looks like for uh, March 29th, we got the lover's card. So it looks like there's some kind of connection going on this day with your love connection here. Some kind of love connection going on here with the lovers, some kind of commitment here. But it does look like the next day, there seems to be something hidden, some kind of hidden peril, some sense of confusion. It looks like Eight of Pentacles, again, you guys could be focused on work. There could be something to do with work here that's causing confusions and a connection. So let's go down further on this and see exactly what's going on here. Okay, so we got the travel card, we got the falsities, and we got the gift card. Okay, so it looks to me like on that day right there, there is some kind of travel. There could be, you know, with these cards, with the journey card, it can literally mean travel. Okay, it could be traveling a car, it could be traveling on a plane, some kind of travel, some kind of long distance situation going on with you and a love connection, or this love connection could be traveling towards you. Okay, uh, or the travel card could be saying there's some kind of movement or change happening towards a love connection because we see the lover's card, which can talk about a relationship or a connection. 
But then we see on the 30th, which is a day you probably want to watch out for because we got the moon card and we have the false person card, which is like the seven of swords energy. It's like there is someone who is being deceptive, like there, there's something hidden about the situation, right? There's something yet to be seen about this that's causing a sense of confusion. But then we see that you guys are going to receive something some kind of gift possibly on that day or something of value at work possibly or someone's going to put the work or effort into it because there's something of value here so if we read across it's saying that there is some kind of love connection some kind of relationship and something deceptive here or something hidden because of work because of school because of needing to put the work or effort into the connection there's someone who could be at a long distance okay with the journey card or some form of travel here or change in deceptions or being false about things and is giving something more of value now okay with the gift card energy okay because there's a want to put the and we're not looking at it from the work right the work or school perspective at the eight of pentacles it could just be saying that this person's finally now putting the work and effort into this connection and there's something of value uh, you're getting out of this okay so let's keep going so there's definitely a happy connection going on that day on the 29th okay and then we see mm, so we see the next day it looks like there's a focus on the past or something that happened between you and this person or the situation seems to be a little bit regretful because it was almost like someone wasn't telling the truth or they were keeping something hidden and it was causing a sense of confusion and that's where you come to that awareness on the 30th there on the 31st we see that there's going to be heart to heart conversation so it's going to be communications about these regrets and wanting to be happy here in this situation so now we see on the first the cherry card energy is there but before we go any further i want to see what the blockage is this week all right taurus virgo capricorn energy now the taurus capricorn energy could be the blockage okay it could be an actual person for some of you it could be because you want to get some kind of advice or also queens can talk about being patient or there's a lack of nurturing and support here okay with the queen of uh, pentacles energy also could be a motherly energy because the queen of pentacles can represent a motherly nurturing kind of energy okay so could be a mother could be part of the blockage could be someone who's not really being supportive or nurturing or supportive uh not being very caring that also could be the case okay so we see here on the first, well, when, when, when we get to the overall outcome, guys, stick with me till the end. With the overall outcome, believe me, I'm going to make everything clear, okay? So we see the chariot card energy here, okay? So there's strong desires, and again, this is another travel card. So some of you are dealing with a long-distance situation, okay? Some of you guys, okay? Because the chariot card talks about travel again and waiting. See, look at that. You're having some kind of expectations. There's some kind of waiting here when it comes to desires or for someone to travel towards you or for victory here there's some kind of waiting going on on the first and you're kind of concerned that maybe things aren't what they say they are they're not telling the truth okay so okay so now we see here on the second we got the six of pentacles energy so the six of pentacles can talk about Somebody who is trying to be very giving on this day, that's what I feel like. Someone who is trying to be there, wanting the equal amount of time here with the Six of Pentacles energy. Um, the reason is, is because there's some kind of concern or sad news here being received on this day. Okay, now let's see. And it's something to do with money and finance possibly, okay? So money and finance could be affecting your romantic love life. So the, the, the days that you wanna watch out for right now are this day, the 30th, okay? the first and the second but these other days here the 29th and the 31st looks very like, like very very good days okay so so we see on the third here okay there seems to be some kind of regrets or a sense of loss here in the situation and what's that about because of a fresh start or new opportunity or there's regrets because of a, a child or fresh start new opportunity with the child card energy or something small some small regrets but it seems like there's this defensive energy here. Defensive energy. I don't want to get hurt. Okay, so then we see Six of Cups. Looks like someone from the past reminiscing of the past. Something to do with the past is coming up here on the 4th. And it looks like there is a power move being made here. Because this is like the Emperor card energy. A sense of order, a sense of structure, a sense of routine there. Towards the connection. So it does look like this is going to be a good day for you guys. So let's bring this all together, okay? So... 
So far this week, it seems like there's some happiness happening for you guys, positivity. But then there's going to be some, oh, I feel bad about what happened. Let's talk about things. But then it's like, are you telling me the truth? Is this really too good to be true? Is there something to do with money and finance involved in this situation? There's something of value here. I'm really defensive here. I don't want to get hurt when it comes to this soulmate connection, this relationship. But it does look like this is a good day here. So let's keep going. Let's keep going here, Aries. Okay, so we can see that there's something to do with this travel and possibly you're concerned that someone's not telling you the truth and, uh, and, and there's concern about receiving something of value or something to do with a gift uh, or something to do with something of value here, okay? Or appreciation, that could be the case too with the gift card and waiting here and having some kind of expectations but having some kind of sad news or a message of sad news because of a child okay or a fresh start or new opportunity but things are brought into order there's a sense of structure there's a, a power move that's made here okay so going further okay so we see there's this relationship, this love connection, and some confusions because are you going to put the work or effort into and are you going to travel towards me? Is there going to be a strong desire? Am I going to get a victory here? Are things going to be brought into balance here? Because I'm really having regrets here. I feel bad about what happened in the past. Six of Cups energy. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. And let's take a look at your love interest feelings. Okay, so we got the Empress card. Okay, we got the Two of Wands and we got the Strength card. So... Obviously, this person finds you very attractive, okay, with the Empress. Some of you, they also, uh, this is known as the fertility card, so, mm -hmm. so they're looking to start some kind of family with you. If it's not the case, it's just they see you as someone who is very well taken care of, you know, very beautiful, very attractive, male or female, okay, so very attractive. And they're, they're trying to make some kind of decision that they've been kind of headbutting themselves about. And they're trying to find that strength, courage, and confidence for this to do that, okay? So we see a person card. Now, person card could be you, could be the love interest, okay? Oh, okay. They're wanting some kind of intimate time with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They want some privacy and intimate time with you and a con connection here and a relationship, actually. They're, they're lacking that courage or confidence. They want to make this decision for this private time with you. Mm -hmm. And I do feel like they do find you very attractive, okay? So let's keep going. This person wants to reconcile. They want to heal the connection. <laughs> Definitely a passionate energy around this. <laughs> and the sense of confusion or they want some clarity here in the connection, trying to find that courage and strength and confidence to have a relationship or have some kind of connection. Obviously, this person is definitely feeling like they want some alone time with you for some passionate exercise to clarify some things for themselves. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> okay. So the blockage is the queen of pentacles energy. Something to do with a commitment. That's like the ring card energy. Okay and obsession. So obviously this person is really thinking about you, right? There's a lot of obsessive thinking going on, but then we see Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, something to do with a commitment. Okay. Somebody could be married or there could be some kind of commitment to being patient and just being obsessive and just like, you know, not making too many moves on the situation, doing a lot of thinking, more thinking, or trying to get a lot of advice about the connection. Okay, so that's the blockage. Okay, so let's now do the overall outcome, Aries. Okay, so we see the Sun card energy, we see the Ten of Cups, and we see the Justice card energy. Okay, so obviously this outcome is saying it's going to be very happy, okay? We literally have the Sun card saying you are lucky. It's a luck card. And it's also saying that there is success and happiness because of a decision, okay? Or a sense of justice. The sense of justice seems to be, from what we can see from the day to day, is this person feels bad. They feel regretful about what has happened, right? There's been some things that have been hidden, and there's been questioned about some kind of deceptions here, and that's bringing brought to light, right? So we see house and some kind of text message, letter, or document, 
and we see the pain person could be you, could be the love interest, okay? So we see there's something to do with this building, this house or house and family and a sense of happiness. Ten of Cups says it's gonna be a complete happy situation. There's something to do with this letter, message, document or paperwork because we see justice, which could talk about something legal like marriage, divorce, just choose, just decision, okay? We see, yep, ring card is saying there's a commitment here and a hopeful energy towards love, Ace of Cups. Oh my God, oh my goodness, okay, okay. This is a very, very, very happy ending, isn't it, right? So it's like uh, outcome to your, your situation this week. There's a commitment and I'm hoping that things can work out when it comes to this love, this renewed love, this new beginning. You really make me happy. I'm, I'm completely happy with this situation. Again, we see two people and a baby there, okay? There's a new beginning, a fresh start here because of a decision, okay? A decision or a sense of justice here, something to do with house or something to do with the house and this letter document and a person, okay? Going down further, yep. This also is saying justice, a sense of justice. Someone's thinking about you. And they're really wanting to put the work or effort into this situation, okay? So they're putting thoughts to action here. So the outcome is saying there's gonna be a happy outcome because a sense of happiness because of a decision. Because of this decision, someone's thoughts are of, I wanna put the work or effort into this. So they're thinking about you and they're putting the work or effort into making a decision, okay? There's a healing energy going on here and cutting away unhealthy things from the past and a nurturing supportive energy here. So we see a victory for you guys. This is gonna be a victory because of not wanting to miss an opportunity and wanting to take this into the long-term Knight of Pentacles energy. There's been a lot of overanalyzing here when it comes to this decision, right? And putting the work or effort into this. Okay, so my beautiful Aries, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.